Hey everybody, Metal Shop Steve here. I have some more music reviews for you, some exciting stuff. Uh, first up, this video today is um, a band that I love. I've loved since my, my young days, my first days of loving and listening to rock. Um, I actually did a video, uh, one of my earlier videos was talking about some of my favorite older albums by this band. And that band, of course, is Prong. Uh, they have been around for a long time, guys and girls, uh, and they have been rocking hard, um, kind of a hardcore sounding outfit, but really just to call them metal, I think is good enough. They're not really industrial, uh, and they're very, um, I guess the way that I described them before is uh, there's nothing fancy about them. They are just hardworking rock and rollers. They come out there and they light it up and smash you in the face with their music. And that's about it. And if that's not good enough for you, then uh, maybe go find something else to listen to. But I love them. Um, what I'm going to talk about today is their newest album. It actually came out here in 2019. Um, my notes say it actually just came out in November. And it's an EP this time. I heard rumor that there is another full-length album on the way. Um, but they, again, have been churning out albums over the years. Um, this album is Age of Defiance, and uh, five songs, really solid, uh, nothing, uh, no trash on this album at all, uh, and you're pretty much going to blow right through it and then wonder where the rest of it is when you're done and probably listen to it again and again. But first of all, let's talk about the band. The, the founding member, uh, the guy who's been there through all of it, uh, Tommy Victor, vocals, uh, guitar and he is really what prong uh, has kind of been about through the years um, you definitely recognize his voice there's a signature sound to it it's raw it's uh, I don't know it's it's so stripped down and it's 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 like bare but it's got uh, you know it can do all these different things he can light it up to uh, kind of a scream uh, he does a lot of um, it almost comes really close to like a yell as he's singing, but like a melodic yell, it's in there. And it just fits the music so well. It is the perfect blend for this band. And if you've listened to them, uh, if you are a big fan of the, the even the earlier, earlier albums, and you pick up this EP, you are going to recognize immediately. There is no mistaking a prong CD uh, in terms of the sound and what it offers. Uh, the rest of the band, um, they've kind of, again, changed around over the years, but we have Aaron Rossi on drums, and he is a beast. In fact, uh, maybe his nickname as well from what I've seen out there, but he is, uh, he is just a powerful drummer. And he's been around the block in a, a bunch of different bands, probably a bunch of bands that you love as well, but most notably, other than Prong, was Ministry. Uh, and they're kind of an industrial band, uh, again, a longtime band, Pretty well known, so you probably know who they are. Um, but he's back in the lineup. He was in the lineup uh, a few years back. He left to go to ministry. He came back. Uh, and along with Aaron Rossi, Jason Christopher on bass. So Aaron and Jason provide uh, this backbeat, which is really the backbone. Um, you know, you can say that a lot of times in a lot of bands, but really for prong, this is the backbone of this music. Without the drum and bass in this uh, in their sound, it would not be prong. Uh, and the guitars always have kind of this low sound, probably down-tuned a lot as well, um, but just really low guitar. Uh, but every once in a while, they surprise you, and it jumps up there, and there's some kind of little solo or um, something melodic or something uh, just kind of to wake you up. Uh, not that you're going to be doing any sleeping listening to prong. Uh, but that's kind of the deal. That's prong in a nutshell. Um, so let's talk about the songs. I'm just going to go down uh, kind of through the whole list since it's only five songs. Uh, and there's something for me to talk about in every song here. Um, the other thing I'll say about their sound, I guess the best way to describe it for me, even though I wouldn't say it's industrial, it's like a, it's like a, a machine. It's a machine, and all the parts are driving this machine. That low guitar, that pounding bass and drums, and uh, and Tommy's voice. I mean, everything is just um, 
it's even minimal at times. Uh, sometimes they'll just take away everything and leave the bass or the drums or something like that, and then they'll bring it all right back and hit you with it out of nowhere again. So uh, if you can't tell, it pumps me up. Prong usually pumps me up pretty well. Um, so here we go. Uh, we start out with the title track, Age of Defiance. Uh, so this is a chugging, hammering, uh, pretty signature kind of prong sound. Now it's on the slower side, it's a little bit grinding. Um, it's almost, as the title track here, it's almost like an anthem, you know, Age of Defiance. And this whole album seems to kind of have uh, a theme running through it, uh, a very similar feel lyrically. So, um, not to give anything away, but I do hope, uh, as a little spoiler here, uh, I do hope to have a prong interview on the way. Um, just working out the details on that, but very, very, very excited. So we'll get into the themes a little bit then. Uh, End of Sanity, the next song, number two up on this album. Uh, and this one, it picks up the pace a little bit. Uh, it's got a killer riff. You know me, you know I love a riff. Uh, and that's where this song is. Um, Getting on in the album, actually, uh, for me, the album really builds. And I think that's maybe the sign of a good album is, uh, you know, you can't have anything weak. Uh, we're not going to build from weak stuff. But you start strong, and then you just build even stronger out of that. And that's what this album does for me. Rude Awakening, third track on this album. Uh, this one has a nice groove. Uh, the vocals... Uh, I mentioned that it's almost a yell at times, and that's where you can really hear it on this one. This is for the first the first time uh, really on this album that, uh, that Tommy really lets loose and yells. And um, if you know Prong, you know what I'm talking about. You know exactly the sound that I'm getting at here. So um, that's Rude Awakening. We get into the fourth and fifth songs, the final two songs on the album, and they're actually my favorite songs here. Uh, the fourth one, Another Worldly Device. This one is, is really the first one on the album that has, for me, that classic prong sound, maybe cleansing, uh, something like that. Uh, but you go from kind of a quiet start to that pounding, and that's just how they start to get you. There's really great yelling uh, vocally in here, um, but it's melodic. It, it has these little melodic pieces to it. Uh, the solo in here, they're not really a solo kind of band in the traditional sense, but uh, they still have that, that mentality to let the guitar do its thing every once in a while on its own. It's a nice little melodic solo. It's got a, it's a little squealy, um, but it's that classic prong sound, uh, and it's a really complete song, probably the most complete song on this album. And I was listening to this my first time through, and I'm like, yeah, this is my favorite song by far. Uh, and then I got to the next song, uh, Cut Rate, the final song on the album, and... Uh, <laughs> As soon as this one started, I'm pretty sure that this one jumped to my number one spot. Again, it could be another case where it's one and one A. Really tough to decide between these two songs. Uh, but it is fast, 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 fast. It just blitzes you right out of the gate from the beginning. They're not a thrash band. They're not a speed band. But uh, this one is just like, boom. It's off and running, and uh, it drags you along with it. It's got this chugging riff, this pounding beat. That's what I'm talking about. Aaron Rossi going wild on the drums. Um, but the thing is, there are tempo changes within this, so um, as much as sometimes you start to fall into that feeling that maybe Prong is a one-note kind of band, meaning that uh, you're going to get that same type of tempo and sound through most of the songs, which isn't a bad thing, uh, that's when they switch it up on you, and that's what happens in the song. Uh, they kind of switch the tempo up, they switch the sound up a little bit here. Uh, it slows down toward the end of this song, uh, and then it kind of lets you take one final breath before the end of the album. Uh, that's it, five songs, but five songs really well done and really leaves me hungry for the next full length album, whenever that may come out. Um, and uh, it also has made me dive back into some of the previous albums. Uh, hopefully, if all goes well, we'll have an interview coming up and we'll get to talk some prong face to face. Uh, but that's it, that's the EP, it's Age of Defiance. And it's out now. Definitely go check it out if you've been waiting around on Prong for, uh, I, I believe 2017 was their last uh, full-length album before this. So um, go get this, listen to it, uh, try not to hurt yourself listening to it. And uh, as always, thanks for stopping by.